Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, May the 18th. It's the fifth week of Easter, and week four in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Alleluia. Psalm 119. Please recite it with me. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. They that fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O God, that your judgments are right, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your merciful kindness be my comfort, according to your word. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed. For they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate in your precepts. Let those that fear you turn to me, and those that have known your testimony. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, lest I be ashamed. Alleluia. My soul longs for your salvation, and I hope in your word. My eyes fail watching for your word. When would you comfort me? For I become like a bottle lost in the smoke. Yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are my days? When will you execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me with lies. Help me. They'd almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your loving kindness, give me life, and I shall long. I shall keep the decrees of your mouth. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, your hands have fashioned, made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Alleluia. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 12. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit and do not despise prophecies, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, and abstain from every form of evil. And may the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly command you by the Lord that this letter be read to all the brothers and sisters, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, your word, O God, is settled in heaven forever. Alleluia. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, your word, O God, is settled in heaven forever. Your faithfulness is to all generations. You have established the earth, and it abides. They continue to this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for with them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. 
The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but your commandment has no bounds. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Your word, O God, is settled in heaven forever. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 6, beginning at verse 19. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For all who are sick, especially the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic, and for Brenda and Brian and all who are in recovery and rehab, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for those struggling with addiction, especially Bill, that they all may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Howard, Brother Roger, Brian, and Dwight, that they may be judged, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For all who serve in harm's way and for the victims of terrorism and violence, for the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises, for the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Todd, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved with it which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. With your hands, O God, you have made and fashioned us. Grant us your wisdom and understanding that we may live according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia and happy Easter.